Okay, everybody, I have something pretty spectacular here, and I'm about to give you a schooling on Steel Sense. I don't have to do it, the coins are gonna do it for you. I think you're gonna enjoy this. Even if you're a dealer, stick around because this is something that you probably wanna see because I don't think even a lot of dealers have the opportunity to do this. So I'm gonna show you a variety of Steel Sense and explain some things to you. So these beautiful, beautiful Steel Sense, I mean, look at these. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, 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 geez. Oh, I'm, hey, what the heck is he doing? Anyway, um, these beautiful pennies are worthless. These are trinkets. They actually wouldn't be worth any less if I turned them all into kitchen magnets, believe it or not. No value. And I have a couple of coin rolls here. So, this, these are from a dealer that I've been buying from for quite some time. It's nice, right? Immediately people are going to be suspicious. They're going to say it's a fake roll. Those, those coins at the end, they, they put them in there to make people bid. Well, maybe some people. I mean, that's an okay steel scent. But... You know, they made a billion of these. They're, they're actually not that uncommon. People think they're rare just for finding them, which is, it's cool to find them and change, but they have to be in really nice condition to be worth a lot. So, although this coin initially looks great, it's actually okay. I'm gonna zoom in for you on all these so you can really take a good look. Hopefully I'll stay in focus for you. So, but we're talking about steel scents. So take a really good look at the condition of this. You can see wear. Look at the cheek. Look at his forehead. It's okay. This is actually in the book by my grade for about uncirculated. This is about a $5 steel set. Five bucks. This roll wasn't seated with those. It might have been, but again, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, I have another roll here. So this roll is from the same seller, same batch. And this roll, I actually just recently posted a, a one minute coin short. And I talk about this roll. And immediately, immediately somebody posted, those are mint enders. Somebody seeded that roll, it's a fake roll. That's not an unsearched roll. Again, <laughs> these are pretty initially. And yes, they could get someone excited for the bidding, but this is someone that I trust personally. But anyway, take a close look at this one. And I'm gonna zoom in for you. It's nicer than the other one, right? This is maybe sort of in the low, low MS area, mint state. So this approaches $15 in the book. Anticlimactic, right? But this is an authentic steel scent. And I'll get back to the valueless ones. So this one, I'll get to it in a second. That's a surprise. This one is also very nice. Sorry, you'll get a little little window reflection there. So I'm going to zoom in on this one for you. Okay, another really nice set. Definitely nicer than either of those end coins, neither one of those end coins in the rolls make me suspicious. So, very nice, right? MS-66. Okay, now we're talking in the $40 range. 45 I think. Look closely. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. So hopefully even with the reflections you can take a good look. That'll help you see some of those details and some of the flaws. So, this is about a $45 steel penny. 1943, very nice, right? The next grade is a st substantially more expensive coin. And my last coin is a really special coin. Most dealers don't even get to see these unless they're at a coin show. I'm gonna show you this one for a moment. And why don't you guess at the grade of this one. 
So I'm going to zoom in, give you a nice slow look there. It's actually so nice and lustrous that the uh, light meter on my camera is freaking out a little bit. doesn't know what to do. But again, I'm, I'm going to zoom in for you. Can you even find an imperfection in this? And it's slabbed. We know it's genuine. Did you catch that? Look at the luster on this. It's not quite hourglass. I would describe it more as a swirl. It's got some beautiful, frosty, original, hazy luster on top of the original strike. It's hard to describe. It's a microscopically thin layer that creates that incredible luster. Are you ready for this? This penny is not a penny that every dealer will ever get to hold. This, go look it up, this is a $3,000 penny. I think actually $2,200 I think is the current listing. But if you go look at auction prices, even for it in this holder, it's around $2,000. Typically it's more like three or 4000 in the PCGS holder. But now back to those first pennies that aren't even worth making into fridge magnets. Or maybe I should and send them to a dealer and ask for a commission. I'm kidding, I, I won't do that with anyone. Okay, so even though I'm holding a very expensive slab, I'm going to do something a lot of people won't do. I'm going to put this coin right on there. Take a close look. A really close look. Hopefully in the camera you can see the difference that there is a, a swirl there because it actually has original luster. This coin, although shiny and detailed, <laughs> sorry about that, is coated, plated, zinc plated. So you can tell it's actually more of a chrome color. The real coin is actually more of a gunmetal is a way to describe it, kind of a gunmetal blue or a gunmetal steel. It definitely has a different look, but the lesson that you would not get to see usually with these plated coins, and I'll tell you why I have these, is that when you compare these side by side, which you're not going to get to do very often, sorry, I'm trying to make this easy, you can see that the plated one is very convincing, but it's too smooth. It doesn't have any of the original um, die marks, especially when you look at it up close. It doesn't have any of the original texture that existed in the not quite perfect die. It wasn't a die done for a proof strike. So it's, uh, it's not immediately apparent, but you can see that the one over here is different. It's too smooth and it's kind of a shame because some of these are actually in fantastic condition and someone went through the trouble to just plate all of them. Some of these probably would have been worth 40 or 50 bucks. I looked through them all a long time ago. So what happened was, and I'll let you look at the nice one during this, when I bought a roll a long time ago from somebody on eBay, early days of eBay actually, it was a roll that... um basically was claimed to be filled with steel scents and it was pretty cheap actually and there were a couple nice ones on the ends and it wasn't a perfect picture and it probably wasn't a heavy duty coin seller that's why I bought the roll originally so when I bought the roll first thing I noticed when I opened it up was real steel scents on the outside that were pretty nice not even as nice as the $45 one I just showed you but a couple decent ones on the outsides and then just completely filled with fake ones and it was obvious seeing those side by side but it took a minute because the first plated ones I saw were really nice and I had to look really close and let me show you those again I know this is a pleasure to look at uh, it's gonna go to auction next year maybe I'll do a video on it I'm gonna try to get it crossed over to PCGS it's flawless it's beautiful I think there's only 150 or so of these at this grade on planet Earth 
So let's go back to that fake one. Any, any one of them. Some of them actually look like rust, which happens with these steel scents, but it's actually not perfect plating. So you can see there, that's going to trick someone who hasn't held a lot of these. That's going to trick someone on site at the end of a roll, for sure, in a picture. And especially if you're like me and willing to gamble on, quote, unsearched rolls. And to me, I don't care if an unsearched roll means 10 years ago, 50 years ago, or if it means it's a, literally a fake roll that was made long enough ago that the coin on the end is actually worth more than I pay for the roll. I could care less what the roll cost me if I make money on the roll. But anyway, I mean, look, look how nice these look initially. Very convincing. This one is plated, but not perfectly. I'm going to show you a few of these because usually you'll see a photo of these. When you look close, you will see lines but it's the way it plates on here it's not the the lines from the die but man it's a shame because some of these were really nice but hey worthless right so maybe i will turn some into kitchen magnets and when i hit a thousand subscribers i'll give away like 20 very cool kitchen magnets so anyway i hope you enjoyed that and that's not something you get to see every day. And again, this roll that I just made a short on and people were immediately convinced that I was showing something fake and seeded. That's a whole nother story, but these are real vintage unsearched rolls. They're, my suspicion is that they're from the early 60s. And that's a whole different video. So I hope you enjoyed a little uh, lesson on Wheaties. Back to the $45 Wheaties so you can take a look sorry the steely so I just want to give everyone the opportunity to take a look like you would be able to see at a coin show because right now very few of us are comfortable with going to a coin show even if they arrange it so soon anyway like subscribe tell me if you learned something I mean you know it's not something that I learned overnight and Certainly having a $2,000 example is quite helpful. So take a real good look. Remember that luster. It's not always going to look like that. Sometimes it will look like an hourglass, like the traditional hourglass. But these are special. And they can especially frustrate people, even a dealer. Thanks again. Happy Holidays.